Now, how do you think that's going to work? We have totally different tastes in women. Are you saying I don't have discriminating tastes in women? I was a dyke when you were still in diapers, kiddo. I, my dear, know what a mature, attractive woman is, but I'm not so sure I'm willing to share that with you now. Hey, don't call me kiddo, Grandma. And what does that say about my lover? You said you wanted to jump her bones as soon as you met her. So what makes you think we have such different tastes in women? That was a weird coincidence. Even weirder that she came on to you first. Anyway, I don't think I want to leave the two of you alone together. Maybe you haven't dipped into the honeypot in a while. The honeypot? God, you're so 70 sometimes. And I'd appreciate if you didn't cut in on my nun lifestyle. Try again, Max. At least those nuns are getting some. Why are you taunting me? I don't need to be reminded every day that I haven't slept with a woman in 10 months. I can't believe that you are calling me 70s when you use such Victorian language for sex. Slept with? Max, it's sex. Sex isn't safe sex. Sex isn't fucking. It's in making love. You it's can stop now. Maybe I'd be more familiar with the terminology if I remember what it was like. So why don't you facilitate the process by helping me meet some hot babes? Now the question was, who do you think is the cutest, and can you introduce us? Well, first tell me who you wish you could be introduced to. No, you tell. Go, it's your libido. Just go, tell me who. Well, okay, let's see. I pick contestant number one, the one right over there with the flowing locks. She's adorable. Yeah? Clearly your attachment to the 70s is much deeper than I realized. Max, she's really nice. She used to go out with a friend of mine. I have one word for you. U G L Y. She ain't got no alibi. She's ugly. Max, her mother says she's so ugly. Call for it. Cut it out.